Welcome to this podcast. My name is Beatrice Mars. I am a singer songwriter from France. And right now, uh, the least I can say is that I don't talk, talk much about my music anymore. So, but uh, it's just about the, uh, the news right now. So, as you may have seen the title, I think I'm going to call that podcast uh, Social Media in the Economic Crisis in 2020 something like that so yeah it's gonna be something like that so yeah i was actually uh last night yeah i was watching a video from a youtuber called uh, nomadic fanatic actually i've been following following him since 2014 on and off at one point i unsubscribed and recently I, I su i've subscribed again to to his channel and he was saying basically that uh, with youtube right now what he can what he can say is that he's losing he has lost 82 percent of his income from uh, Ad adsense so he's he's got something i think he's got around like 300,000 subscribers and everything so he's got millions of views it's a it's um well it's a guy who is actually traveling around america in a in a rv that's what i can say so and basically, I kind of, uh, I've kind of, I've, I've listened to him, and then uh, I had a, I had a, I had an idea. Well, I, I saw the light, as I can say, and um, I have to say, so for the past few days, uh, I've been like putting out videos on social media. It's, well, when I'm saying social media, I've, I've put some a few videos on YouTube, and I've made a, um, a few podcasts for this uh, channel. Beatrice Mars on YouTube and also Beatrice Mars Music on your favorite uh, podca podcast platform. So I've made a few a few entries and then um, and then actually I'm taking the 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 the, the advantage that uh, right now I've still got my uh, internet connection and I have to say I'm among these people I'm gonna be hit hard with this economy. Uh, this, this, with this crisis, uh, basically, I don't know how I'm gonna pay the bills because uh, basically, the only way I was earning money is not from the music. Basically, uh, I don't make any sales anymore, so 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 I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So, to come back to the subject, so yeah. Actually, I've decided to 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 to, to do the maximum maximum of videos I can I can think of uh until the end of the month because uh, by the end of the month uh I, I still got my internet connection until the end of the month and then i don't know what's gonna happen next so 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 to come back to the subject this time really come back to the subject yeah so i was i was uh, i was thinking about it because I think a few months ago, now may, it might be a year, and I don't remember, I read a book, everyone was talking about, I, I was I was actually watching other YouTubers, and uh, talking about money and stuff, and everyone, and I, there's one boot who, who was kind of coming up again, again and again and again on all those, uh, those videos, and the title of his book is called Middletown in Transition, a study in cultural conflicts, um, the author is Robert Robert S. Lind and Ellen Merrill Lind. Basically, uh, if you if you go to the, my YouTube channel, you see uh, I'm actually showing the, the book on, on on the screen. So it's very interesting because the the, um, the idea of the book basically it's a it's a study, as it's written in the title. It's a study of a uh, of a town. In the ninety around 1930s, 1920s, when the uh, basically the economic crashes of the 1920s was kind of not really there anymore, but more or less kind of ending, and basically he was able to actually do the, the authors were, were able to actually do um, a study just right about when the uh, effect. Of the uh, uh, of the of the crashes was still there in that town, and come back again ten 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 years afterwards, as far as I can remember, and do the same study and see what the differences w were. So basically, 1930s it's very much like uh, like it was used to be. Uh, 
namely in that town there were like few people who were highly privileged who had over money and they were actually allowing everyone to actually work basically they were the providers of jobs and um, and also there were other like other um, other job titles okay and most of the people in the town lost their job except some of the people who were working for those very healthy people who were, were very influential influential in this town so what what is the uh, the, the link between uh, the actual economic crisis in 2020 the third quarter of 2020 and it's real and it's here to stay because people can get out and get and earn money and people who are actually working for themselves can make money so it's real and it's here to stay and basically it's gonna take time before it's actually come back to normal again if we if it ever comes back to normal as normal as we know it before what what happened what is happening uh, today so what they were saying so the one thing that actually i can remember it was a it's, it's kind of vivid memory somehow is that at one point they were saying that people because we couldn't get jobs and they are they have children so what was happening and this is and it does make sense today is that people when the uh, children were actually growing up and were at in age of being able to go outside and work for someone be employed okay rather than being employed because we couldn't find work and there were there were not enough work around what they were doing is that were staying at school and continue to study and make uh, you know higher studies if you understand what i'm saying so, so it was instead of being unemployed basically they were just keep keep on with studying basically that's 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 what i can say so now we now you we you, you know you can realize why uh, people keep uh, keep keep on studying nowadays so it's back where you know so and there's another thing actually that actually comes up in that book is that uh, people uh, why they had no money to, to, to feed themselves, no money, they couldn't work and everything. What was apparent in that book is that people uh, wanted to be entertained. So, and what they did at the time, just to, uh, I mean, to calm the, um, the population, so the healthy people with the help of the government, because they had uh, government connection, they decided to build uh, uh, an infra in infrastructure, well, buildings and stuff, you know, like a swimming pool and everything, clubs for, for kids. So, uh, and for adults as well, so that the, that the uh, children and the adults could be entertained while they were unemployed. What they discovered is that people were, were actually, there was, back in the day, so, they actually installed a system where people who were unprivileged uh, could actually get s things to survive you know like a common kitchen and things like that and they realized that people were like helping each other the best they could actually so why am i making that link between uh, that uh, old study from 19 the 19 1930s 1920s 1930s and what's happening today in social media is that whatever happened and because of the technology we have now okay if people are going into a downturn it's human nature people would like to be entertained they will look for a way of being entertained so be it so since you cannot you cannot play any sport you know and uh, you cannot go out of your house it's either reading it's either because of the technology internet so either watch a movie or go on youtube and watch few videos and you know take spend a, li a lot more a lot of more a lot a lot more time in us uh, in watching videos of their fa favorite um, creators so what is interesting and this is the other link with uh, that youtuber mentioned right at the beginning of the uh, of this podcast is that okay people have no money or some people still got money but people can't go out of their, of, their, of their houses they want to be entertained so they're gonna go like places like youtube unfortunately for the creators now 
as, I, as I'm talking, there are a lot of you. All the eyes are on the internet where every single marketer sees the wish and the dream of every single marketer, every single big company who wants to sell you to sell you something. And the thing is, there is no money for advertising because for the big companies, there's no point in spending money in advertising since nobody is buying. And as I said before, and the irony is that all the eyes are aware on the internet. So right now, creators are making uh, content just for the pleasure of making content because they're not earning anything at all, anything. Well, they're making some money for some of them, but it's such little money that it, it actually is not even worth it. It's not even worth it just to say that I'm going to earn anything. So, you know, if you understand what I'm saying, so it's a strange time. So yeah uh and maybe somehow youtube is coming back to to what it was at the origin i.e some people making content so f because of for the pleasure to make content and not making content for the, for for the um, for for the uh, uh, with with an idea behind their behind their, their head i.e uh i want to make money okay i want to make money i want to make money i want to make money so this is not happening anymore. So, and my, my, my direct thought is how long is it going to last? Because right now I was, I was, uh, for, for the first time in a long time, um, I'm going on to YouTube and I'm watching the news, the official news from a French, you know, French uh, news, ch news channel. And, um, now people are talking about maybe a two month confinement. So basically if I'm, if, if we're saying f uh, two months in, two months in confinement right now, I don't know how I'm going to survive. Uh, I haven't got any money to actually buy the food. So I don't know how I'm going to survive at all, but I know I'm not going to be the, on the only one because if the economic system cannot function properly, okay. If people cannot buy things apart from, um, from, um, food and entertainment. So nowadays the entertainment has to be indoors. So what is going to happen? So next week is Netflix is going to be fine. Maybe, but, but how long is it going to be fine? Because if people can't get out to actually, uh, work, are gonna get, how are they going to get, how are they going to get uh, their money to actually spend f spend things on Netflix or whatever and f on food and whatever? So I don't know how it's going to work out. And I said, um, I've made a video in French like uh, yesterday, I put it online on yesterday and saying that maybe internet, maybe it's, it is time maybe to, to rethink what internet is to an individual because to me, it's clear to me that uh, the, the, an internet connection is something you must have nowadays. You cannot live without an internet connection and the price, some, some connection can be a little bit pricey, others not so, but the thing is, I, I was saying in that video that maybe, um, an internet connection after uh, the right of every single individual to, to be able to, to have some food and to put their food in their mouth, I think uh, after if you put after afterward the electricity, I think uh, I think to me in an internet connection is next to the electricity. To me nowadays, f with the technology we have right now, it's it's a necessity. It's not something you can you can li live without. So, what I'm thinking is that some people, most of us, we have uh, internet connection through our phones. Some people are, are aren't going to be able to pay their phone bills. So what's going to happen uh, in two months if that thing is, is less in two months are, are people going to have to you know get disconnected from uh, in, from the, um, the from the from the network the providers the service providers how is it going to happen how is the information is going to travel because nowadays people tend to have uh, their tv through uh, internet connection so how how is everything going to go to how is how is everything gonna go going, going to work out on this on this side of things? So and then and then and then so we say social media is an addiction, but uh, 
other than an addiction, it's a necessity because I don't know which co in which country you're living, but as far as I'm concerned, in France, if you nowadays if you don't have an internet connection, a proper internet connection, you can do next to nothing. You can still go to the uh, administrative, official, governmental buildings and everything, but the thing is, any any administrative thingy you need to do it has to be done through the net and if you go to the if you have got the chance to go to the building most of the time they will tell you well just go to the just get connected on the internet and you will be able to do that 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 and they kind of relate reluctantly doing it for you on their on their on their computer so it's really a need it's not something that is frivolous anymore and uh, nowadays with the situation where we are now it's, it's it's even if it's frivolous because it allows you to actually to 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 enjoy some entertainment there's the other side of it that uh, with your internet creation you can pay your bills somehow and you can actually interact with the company you owe money to so if you don't have, if you don't have a connection how do you interact uh as far as i'm concerned uh, I realized like a few months ago that nowadays I don't receive mail anymore. Uh, sometimes I get like, you know, the, the, the letter saying that, uh, that uh, you know, the installments for, for to pay the bills are like that or they change because I haven't paid. But the thing is, I don't receive mail anymore. So you don't get mail. Okay, I do get a lot of parcel because most of the stuff I actually buy online, so which is which is a uh, yeah yeah which is a bit tricky now, uh, which is a bit tricky now. So, how are we gonna manage manage that? And uh, as I say, social media is is I'm 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 thinking okay. So if those big enterprises, social media enterprises, firms. They can't actually get money through advertising anymore. How long will take will they take them to to perish for some of them? Uh, I'm not so much worried about the YouTubes uh, of the world, but you know, if you're a small app and you just started to make to to actually uh, to actually uh, if you just started to to launch your if you just launched your your app, how long are you gonna last in this uh, economic uh, nightmare right now? So are we going to see a social media application disappear from that uh, from that economic crisis? Uh, the thing is, have have the numbers of users going to dwindle because people more and more people won't be able to pay their their bills? So to uh, get access to those application, if you understand what I'm saying, so how is it gonna how is it gonna gonna happen? Should uh, should should internet b be uh, free like water? I don't know, but uh, right now I'm thinking, I think I'm thinking that uh, there should be uh, some serious talk about what the role of, of internet in our in our life and how much internet should should cost and uh, and how how widespread the reach of internet should be so because you still got people uh, at the time i'm talking about which are living in actually develop between codes countries who actually can't afford to actually have an internet connection and if you take it if you take the example like i'm saying like in french if you haven't got an internet connection socially I'm not talking about professionally, but socially, you've got some you you in deep trouble because most of the stuff nowadays is done through the internet. And if you haven't got a connection, you better have some family friends, so family or friends to who can help you. But then there's the, yeah, there's it's not it's not it's not right now it's not the right the right answer so should an in, in internet connection be cheaper so that everyone like everyone in society could get access to internet and use internet and socially function quite well if you understand what i'm saying this is this is the thing i'm, I'm thinking about thinking about nowadays not only because of my situation but because of uh, yeah it's, it's kind of obvious to me so and the way the social media media uh, firms work should that change or not uh, I don't I don't know actually I don't know but my point is if they haven't got any more advertising money advertising coming in how can they uh, like survive that well knowing that 
there's a like if I take the example of YouTube I'm dead sure that now there's um, a resurgence of video being put online like mine and uh, there's no money coming in really directly from advertisers so how are they gonna like handle the whole thing so I guess you've got the point so knowing that uh, what you should remember from the book that, that I mentioned Middle Town in Transition a study in cultural conflicts is that when people have no money what we want to do is forget about their trouble i.e get, get entertained and yes at the time in the 1920s people were like some people were drinking as well knowing that there was some prohibition around but it didn't stop people from drinking to get away from the uh, the absurd they were kind of living the absurd world they were deep into i, I would say so uh, so right now it's 2020 there's a crisis with the coronavirus and uh, people can't get can't go anywhere they need to get entertained some of them are gonna some people are right now starting to starting to live with their savings some people have no money already and some people are about to lose their job so it's going to be more unemployment so and no way no real way to actually uh, earn some money because the bottom line is you cannot get out of your house so and then in France we call it teletravail, so working from home. So now I think there's going to be like a real thought on the tra on the thing of uh, how to work from home and how to you know get the practice done. So uh, yeah, it's going to change society a lot. But uh, it's not only an economic crisis anymore in 2020. It's also a social crisis because it, I think society is going to change from from now on. That's for sure. So tell me what you think. Leave a comment if you're on my YouTube channel. Leave a comment on. Uh, leave a comment, and if you're on Anchor, leave a message or whatever. And uh, well, thank you for listening to me. So I haven't been talking about my music so much nowadays, even though uh, I should say that uh, that uh, as an artist, some people are gonna be just okay if they are if if they if they are used to to have. Uh, a lot of streaming so it's going to be good but at the end at the, uh, in, the same, in the same way I'm thinking if more and more people can't get access to the internet where are all the streams going to come from if you understand what I'm saying so that's it and I've just talked about music so that's it for me thank you for uh, for listening to me and uh, you hear from me the next time I don't know when but uh, it could be I think maybe it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be shortly because nowadays I've just got ideas coming out of me just like that. That's it. Take care. Bye.